Knock, knock! Let me in, Chaz! Hello there, everybody. It's me, the War Boss, and today we are back. That's right, back to Tag Force 2. Now, for those who've been watching, um, thank you for the support, first off, if you are watching. Second off, I figured out why Amazonas Tiger did get stronger, and I also did some adjustments. As I said, I've never played Amazonas cards before, and I probably sound like an idiot to the people who do play Amazonas cards. Amazonas Tiger's effect, where she gets, where it gets additional attack points, includes itself. Lo well, and behold, I didn't know that. I thought it was every other Amazonas card. It's just every Amazonas card. So it is never at the friggin' attack points that it says that it is. Unless, I don't know, they've got some like weird DNA type thing. But anyway, we are back. I've done some quick adjustments to the deck. Nothing major. We took out some cards that didn't really fit the theme. And we put in some cards that absolutely did fit the theme. We're slowly kind of maneuvering towards a uh, Amazonas-based deck. In terms of an Amazonas engine with Gaia as the boss monster. And it's, it's starting to work. We got another tiger and we got the swordswoman last time. So today we're just going to continue going through and just, you know... Well, destroying people. And I say destroying very loosely. We've had a couple of close duels, you know. But this deck is only getting stronger and stronger the more I pull from it. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, we're going to continue just going through the Slay for Red people. We're starting with Shannon here. Shannon McGannon. As you, I did switch um, House of Adhesive Tape out for Soul Exchange. And then I took out Hibakime, which I don't think even showed up in the last episode. But there was Hibakime in the deck, I replaced it with Amazonist Tiger, I took out Diagrapher, replaced it with Amazonist Swordswoman, so... Yeah, that's pretty much the adjustments to the deck. And we're just gonna keep on kind of steamrolling through Slifer Red as we make this deck stronger and stronger. I think every... Maybe three episodes? Maybe... Yeah, probably three episodes. I'm gonna make a new deck and switch them out and then just run them as well. And then I'll have one core deck, which is gonna be... Oh, you should not be doing that, man. You're gonna make my Amazonas card so strong. And you didn't even play anything? You're just handing this to me, aren't you? That was perhaps the worst option you could have possibly done. I mean, yeah, you got my defense down to zero, but clearly it wasn't that much to begin with. You're down to 3,900 life points, and this is turn four. Um, so every two, once I establish what I want my core deck to do, which is the deck I'll just keep building on, building on, building on, and adjust as the, you know, series goes on, that's gonna be my get over the hurdle deck, I suppose. The other decks are going to be for kind of the grinding sessions and just going around and just honestly seeing what I can make. And we just won on turn six against Shannon. I'm guessing he just draw like, drew like absolute crap. Goodbye, Amazonas Paladin and this prophetic duel. You're going to birthright? Fool! Does that even save you? That doesn't even save you, man. Yes, continue the attack. I could even shadow spell to make it. Oh. I'm gonna have to shadow spell it, actually. I just realized that you're basing this entirely off of the fact that you've got Gaia Power out. That was almost very clever of him. I didn't realize to it. 928. Ooh, man. That is some tasty, tasty DP right there. That is the tastiest of DP. We've got the researcher here. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of feeling confident about this deck, and I want to buy more of those Doriado packs. Actually, do I want the Doriado packs? I don't think I really do. They're cool and all, but at the end of the day, they're just every element pack. I really wanted to get more of the light pack, but. I can wait. Black Flame of Horus. Ooh, she's running a Horus deck. Horus is one of my all-time favorite boss monsters. I've always liked the level up mechanic myself. Like, always loved the 
level up mechanic, and I really understand why it doesn't exist anymore. But man, was it fun when it existed. And a lot of people are like, no, it wasn't fun, it was trash. And you know what I say to you? I think you have terrible taste in cards. That's what I say to you. Because level up was super fun. I know it was supposed to be like, oh, but it's supposed to be a game mechanic, hoo hoo, but you know. Even if it was, it made it fun. And they had some really cool fucking sets, too, using that mechanic. I mean, Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician were all cool. I liked, um, Masked Knight was really cool. I didn't really care for a War Queen. I found a War Queen really kind of boring as a character. Ooh, Solar Flare. Ooh, I was not really ready for that. Um... What is this? Okay, it reduces them by 500. That's fine. I thought I just killed my Amazon as Archer. What is this? Oh, it is Horus! Horus. I don't think it even matters. Um, what's this go? As long as they're on the field, so yeah, we're definitely doing it. Royal Decree! Oh, seven tools, bitch! You are crazy if you think I'm gonna let frickin' Horus resolve. That's right, pepper him with fucking arrows. I'm gonna have to take some damage here. Yep, I'm gonna have to take some damage, but I'm still way stronger than Horus. Oh, what?! That's at the end of the turn?! He- Horus is in a standby?! Fucking damn it, and now I get solemn. Okay, well, I think I lose this duel now. I think that's gonna be the first loss of the series, honestly. Oh my god, I didn't know Horus resolves at the end of the turn! Oh my lord. Yeah, I lose. I lose bad, man. Like, I don't stand. Half a chance. Um, okay. Well, that's what I get for challenging an obelisk blue, if I can be totally honest. Um, that was my own fault, and I accept that. I overestimated my deck. Not that my deck is bad, but his is obviously superior. Damn, do I just put my hand on the deck right now? It's fine, little Wingard's already in his position I want him to be in. Damn, bruh. Damn! Now, Horus may... Horus has a good ability, too, doesn't he? Yeah, he just negates activations of effects. I would like to put my hand on the deck now. I have definitely lost this duel. Give me a card. Not that matters. Ooh, Shadow Spell. Shadow Spell would have been helpful if I still had Paladin with Unicorn Horn, but that is not something I have, and I lose to Arage Dragon. Wow! Yeah, way overestimated my deck. I went from Slifer Reds and jumped straight up to friggin' Obelisk Blues, and I thought, huh, I got this. I do think I can take raw yellows with this, though, so I'm gonna attempt. I also want to try to farm up as much DP in one area as I can, so that way I can buy some more light packs before the day ends. And then I think the next day may be dark packs? Fusion Utopia. That sounds exciting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie at all. Ooh, Earthbound, Mask of Weakness, Spellbinding, and an Amazonas Paladin. Not a bad opening hand, not a bad opening hand at all. Ooh, 
My cat is here. Hi, Bubba. Nope, don't need to do that. Ooh, you want some attention? I'm like, Daddy, you haven't given me any attention. Very lovely boy. Oh, we're gonna send out Skull Mariner. And Amazonas Paladin will top whatever you have to face down. Mystical Sheep. I'm honestly not even worried about him getting his 22. <laughs> 22 fusion monsters? Not even worried about them though, because I've got so many control cards on my side of the field right now. I'm sorry, I was not ready for 22 extra deck cards. His extra deck's like the size of his normal deck. That's insane. Thunder of Ruler gives me control. Yeah, I, I think I'm in good shape still. Mirror Force. I don't have compulsory, do I? Well, that's how you know you're going up against raw yellows. They start pulling cards like fucking Mirror Force on you. Oh my god, and heavy- that's just obnoxious. This man hit me with the 1-2 combo. Okay, now I am concerned. I was not expecting fucking Heavy Storm to come out. He just really devastated my board there. Oh no, bro. Now I'm not even gonna draw anything, and he's gonna beat me with a fucking King of the Swamp and a Versago. This is embarrassing. Alright. Since we're going up against Rayos, I need to remember not to overplay my hand. Ooh, wind Guard. Will make the difference though. God damn. Oh, that really hurt, man. I cannot believe he mirror forced me into Heavy Storm. That's like Master Duel level play right there. Premature. Can you get your king back? Pretty mystical shit back. Weird choice, but I'll work with it. Despite that devastating combo, I still have control of the duel for the most part. He just got a couple of good hits off on me. Wingard will destroy Versago. Tiger will destroy Mystical Sheep. I will go into end phase and turn wing guard to the left. Thank you. Alright, I ain't trying to get double mirror forced, so I'm literally just going to attack with my tiger. I cannot afford being double mirror forced. Nope, I do not want to activate Wingard's ability. Call. Okay. This is called Sheep Numero Uno back out on the field. We're gonna go into a fusion? No, you haven't drawn any of your fusion cards yet. For somebody with 22 fucking extra deck cards. I was expecting one by now. Uh, I'm gonna shield crush whatever you have face down so I can actually do damage to this card. What was it? Oh my god, he was gonna go for it, though. He had the dark. I'm gonna throw out Time Machine, just in case. Yeah, that, uh, that play he just did on me has scarred me. But it literally... It was like that moment where, you, you know, you're really good at, like, low-level baseball and something like that, and you're like, Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go into the big leagues, I'm gonna kick ass, I'm gonna be great. And then the fucking kids there looking at you like, no, no you're not. And then they fucking run circles around you and knock shit out of the park and you're just like, damn. <laughs> I gotta really step it up if I'm gonna be doing this. I gotta learn to play better. Ooh, Amazon Swordswoman is my play better though. Um, uh, I 
kind of wish I put her in defense mode. That's okay. Tiger should be able to do this, and even if he mirror forces, I've got time machine. Alright, he did not have another time machine, but god, that was spooky. That was a terrifying deck to go up against. Two what? 265? You're a raw yellow! You mirror forced me! And heavy stormed me! You should give me more than 265. I feel like I just got robbed. I generally feel like I got robbed there. Alright, Enzo Auditore. Or no, that's Ezio. Not Enzo. <laughs> oh man. This is not looking good. The raw yellow AI knows that going first is but burning away. Burn deck, huh? Three solar flare dragons, probably the dude that does damage based on how many fire cards are in your deck. This is this is what I'm guessing. That's what the deck named Burning Away, that's what I'm guessing. Now remember not to overplay your hand. I'm gonna send out Paladin. Some stuff on the back burner. All of revealing light. I paid 3,000 so I can't attack with anything that isn't there. Wow. Okay. Well, this has just become immensely more difficult. What do you even do about that now? Do I have a dust tornado? I don't think the game gave me a dust tornado. I don't see how I can get past that now. I mean, I've got compulsory, but that doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, I don't have a dust tornado or stuff. Good card, good card. I'll give you that. If I can't attack, I just can't run- I can't play this duel. Now if he heavy storms, he's gonna devastate his own stuff, so... I'm getting more comfortable now. Yeah, I don't know what I can do to get past this. I don't think I have any back row removal. Dwarven kid. I don't think I can get over 3,000. As much as I want to. Am I screwed? Twenty six hundred, yeah. Um Yikes. What do I do? Swordswoman's good. Isn't good enough. That really is the problem. It's just, just not good enough. And I can get up to like 27, maybe even 28, but I don't have anything past that. And I don't think I have the board control to maintain the field. Oh, but he also can't play his cards, so that's interesting. Oh, I can burn them though. I can burn them. I do have Amazonas archers in my deck. Thank God too, because geez, I was really not, I did not know how I was gonna get past this. I just need to draw one of my archers. Is he going for a mill here? There she is, okay. Sacrifice, Swordswoman, and Tiger. We're not even gonna worry about trying to actually do physical damage to him. We are literally just going to burn him to death. 
That's how we win this. Is it nobody can attack? No, none of my opponents can attack. Thunder Roller. I don't know why he hasn't attempted an attack on me yet, though. That's a little sussy. Oh, if I get Gaia, though, I can overpower. Yeah. Um... Minus 500? Yeah, he'll die to this. Go ahead and hit me, maybe, one last time. I'm gonna make you sack your Cestus for that. I do not care. You can put me in all the defense position you want because I'm not even going for that. Horn is useless to me. Lady of the Wasteland is not. How many more hits do I need to do for this? I need to do... I need to hit him two more times with my ability, and then I win. Or maybe I should have unicorned her, though. Yeah, I probably should have unicorned. This duel's making me think. Little wing guard? Perfect. More material to tribute. Yeah. We'll activate the ability because we're literally just sacking everything we got. There we go. Take 1200, bring it down to, what, 11? I'm gonna have to do it one more time, though. Because Marie's just barely keeping them alive. Royal Knight is a level 3 who is going to fall in a hole. Uh, peoples? Yeah. I'm actually not going to impulse mine, I'm going to impulse yours. I'm make my archer as defensible as I can. Move on to Paladin. No? Yeah, B's he's gonna trigger. I've got enough monsters I should be able to make this work. Soul exchange. Okay, perfect. I will tribute whatever it is you have in order to bring out my beautiful red huntress. Who I will then proceed to use as tribute fodder for her ability. These two. And then the moment I draw another monster, I win this duel. Look at that, this duel's making me think. End my turn. I've got a trap hole on deck and a solemn judgment on deck.
That's a little bit more. Drop hole! Enjoy your trip down the hole. Don't even want to risk him being able to do anything to me. Yeah, earthbound. That's okay. Still can't get an attack off, though. I need one monster that I can summon, and I win this duel. And that's what I needed. Look at that. Nope. And we're gonna trigger it. And we're gonna sacrifice both our creatures and win the duel. I wonder if I get bonus points for a uh, win by effect damage, because I didn't do any actual attack damage to him. I won that completely by effect. Mm, no special summon tribute, LP keep, duelist bonus on the one. Nope. But he did give me a beefy chunk of DP. So with the little bit left of this duel, or uh, this episode, we're gonna head back to Duel Academy, go back to the store. See if it's open. No, it's not open. Darn it, man. Why is Jaden just hanging out back here? Unfortunate. That means we're not gonna be able to buy into the sets that we wanted to buy into. I guess it makes sense. It was like probably midnight right there. But let's see what Saturday has to offer us. Ooh, hey Bonaparte. Are you hanging out with Shun? Store. Dorothy. And Sadie. Wait, I don't want to do you. Talk to you. Yes. And it looks like Earth is our uh, element of choice for today. So I guess we're spending a lot of points in Earth, which I'm honestly okay with. I will say Earth probably has the most consistently useful cards. Eight and nine. Oh, that was ten. One, two. Time to gear up is okay. I'm gonna buy three more of her packs. Four more of her packs because I think I want to buy a sandwich. That's why I'm uh, spending it. Then we'll zoom through these packs opening. Vileger, Let's go move. Flemma. Fuma. Oh, Gear Free. Swordmaster Gear Free, nonetheless. Bow. Paralyzing. Kickman. Trice. Normal Gear Free. Okay. Armored glass, red eyes, metal. Armored unicorn, nitro unit. Armored glass, metal Zoa. Level one nuzzler, another kick man. Axe of spare, just generic axe of spare. Brutality. Mist body, that's what we were looking for. I don't remember what I was trying to use it for, but I remember that I wanted it. Different dimension, chorus, banner, no end. Dark door. What I'm really looking for here is... I will take that. I will 100% take level 1 area bait. Who am I? Dimension. Who me? Grabby Crush, Infinite Cards, Yami. Stumbling, I don't want that. Counter Blow, Death Counter Blow. N and Spatial Collapse, that's a new one. A. I think we've got N. I and A now. Nero and Jing Zhen Hu. I actually used to use Jing Zhen Hu pretty consistently. Spirit Barrier. 
barrier, astral barrier, cloak and dagger, spirit barrier. Into the earth cards, poison fangs, Mach the Malkina cards, Trojan horse, Gaia power, Malkina force, cat ear tribe, Wodan, ghost knife jackal, coach goblin, Gaia power, raging earth, Wodan, king tiger Wangu. Now he's pretty good if I recall. Machina, Invigoration's great. Machina, Mystic Swordsman. Give me the Mystic Swordsman card. Give me all of them. Give me all the Mystic Swordsman cards, man. That's a new one. At least not one that I'm terribly familiar with. Cyclopean, Bazoo. Covington, Ghost Knights. Invigoration, Cyclopean. Gyakugire. Another behemoth. Yeah. And then we'll go into her cards again. Cyber Prima. Allure Queen. She runs the Allure Queen cards. Saint Joan. That's the last Harpy Lady number I needed, I think. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Her pack is kind of cracked. Yeah, it sh her fucking deck is kind of busted. Or her cart back. Like, these Amazonas carts are amazing. Okay, but that is what we just pulled. That is gonna probably be it for... Actually, you know what? Let's go attempt a sandwich pull real quick. She was talking about the Golden Egg Witch before, so maybe she wants that. Say Dina, Dorothy. <laughs> Five hundred. Fuck that, bro. Let's go buy three more packs with this. She's trying to sell fucking sandwiches for fucking cheese. Out of what? I thought it was one hundred fifty, not five hundred. We'll buy another. Ooh, we're into fusion time. Oh, we're definitely gonna go into that. Yeah. I was gonna buy an earlier pack, but if there's a fusion pack now. Fusion Sage, Ritual Foregone, Black Illusion, Hoist King, and Fusion Recovery. Alright, well I guess next time we go shopping we're gonna be buying a whole bunch of fusion time packs. We got expert spells and expert traps, with Mirror Force being the front page. So that is gonna be it for us this time folks thank you for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe if you want to see more content there's much more content coming on the way not only on this game but on all sorts of other things on top of that make sure you check the channel for any vods that i do that may not be Yu-Gi-Oh related but are related to other kind of games and things you know and if you want you know you can go to the stream and follow that if you want to watch it live but i'm not pushing you i'm just saying it's there but for now that's going to be it. I've been the War Boss, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.